I'm out here on a job today in Penshurst for a customer that's going over to MBN HFC. So MBN's done their part. You can see here, um, they've come down, they've put their box on the wall. Um, and the customer had a uh, Telstra box here and they had this cable that was sticking out of it and they didn't know what it was. And um, basically they've got the old uh, two pair looting cable coming in, going off to a yellow um, Cat5 cable there. And uh, I wanted to get it connected up and I didn't know what, was, uh, what this cable was doing. So basically this cable here, we had to try and work out what was happening with it. So after a bit of, uh, bit of searching work, um, I was up in the Surling and I seen the yellow, uh, the yellow cable and that black cable, and I traced them back and they were dropping down inside this wall. And there was no sockets or anything on this wall. So I've taken it off where the alarm was and pulled it back and there was a big hole behind here. And I first, first seen this and I pulled this out and then as soon as I pulled it out the cables just fell off it. But then I pulled this out. This was it had a big bit of red tape around the top of it and all these ends, the, the cores were twisted together and they just had the, uh, the, these bits here, they were just touching each other. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen anything so dodgy in a long time. I just thought I'd do a quick video to show you this. So then, now I've found that cable. That cable here was twisted along with all of these. So it has the in signal coming from this one, all right? That's bringing the signal in from the aerial on the roof. And then it has four outs. And the four outs, one of them is going to this twisted pair. And the other one was going into another cable. Um, this one over here. And then... So it also had another in coming in on this, the in from the Foxtel. I'm um, surprised it didn't work here. But luckily there was no, no Foxtel wasn't connected. If it would have been, it would have been sending the signal on this one and just nothing would have worked. So yeah, good stuff. So now I found this cable, now we can give them a socket. And this is where they wanted the socket all along anyway, because this is where they got their old modem and the Orbi set up. So perfect. So I will put a socket on that now. I'm going to do this properly, so I put a splitter on this, put all proper ends on this, and uh, yeah, sort it out so it's, you know, it's proper, not rubbish. Okay, so now I've put um, <clears throat> all the uh, proper ends on here, um, and I've created a new bit of lead instead of having that dodgy little one that they had. I've created a new bit to go and put that on our um, new splitter. Now I've found the MBN one. Now the customer wanted us to use an existing socket that he had. So we've brought that up and I've just put that on. So there's nothing connected to the uh, this one here. So our MBN now is connected to this. That'll save him a few bucks. I'm using his own one. And uh, that's it. Now I'm just going to put that um, splitter on and then put everything back and push it back into the wall and then put the uh, alarm system back together. Yeah. 